Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Yale number PD-526. This is a padlock, and we're going to go over what this is. Let's take a closer look at that PD-526 TA OBIT 1801, I think is the key blank. 606 is the finish. Padlock fixed core case one inch shank. Okay, so let's take a look at it. So this is what the PD-526 is. This is going to a Big Ten University in the Midwest, and they have clearly the TA keyway installed, which is why they have ordered this TA keyway. Got a close-up picture down below that will show you a bit clearer what that keyway looks like. It's published. It's not obviously not restricted or protected, uh, any, anything unusual about it. It would be normal for the keys to fall out because it's an O-bitted cylinder, which means the uh, keys do not have any cuts on them. I specified O-bitted for the client because they're going to key this into their system so they can at least start off with a couple of blanks. Okay. So that's nice and handy. It's stamped TA right there. Yale, typical Yale bow on that, very recognizable. And is one of several uh, padlocks available from Yale. The name Yale is synonymous with padlocks, <clears throat> known as, as a very good quality padlock. This happens to be a fixed core, even though it kind of looks like a removable core uh, or interchangeable core. That's just a filler piece. Actually, it's not a filler. It, it is uh, what allows the, the fixed cylinder to stay captive when uh, inside of the body itself. The access hole, well, the Allen screw here will allow you to ultimately, if you went through th thorough uh, disassembly of the padlock, would be part of that uh, process. The access to the cylinder is quite simple and straightforward. You'll have to have the key and unlock the padlock. And all you're going to do is lo loosen that screw that's down there. Just a number two Phillips will do it. You don't have to, you can just feel when it's completely loose. At that point, your cylinder will come out. Okay. That's where that screw is holding your cylinder in place. Then you can go about rekeying the cylinder, doing any sort of work that will be necessary to it. Okay, so we will put this back. Tighten that screw back up. There you go. Let's switch to the uh, screen view in a moment here, but let's first test the size of the unit. Padlocks are measured, the shackle is measured when the unit is closed and uh, is in this condition. The width, the height is from the base to the uppermost inner portion of this and then the shackle diameter. On this PD-526, the shackle diameter, my caliper tells me 0.374. They're giving us an S dimension of, they're not, but we'll take a look at that when we get to the um, supporting documentation. The inside width, they're telling us 3 quarter. This is 0 0.785, 0 0.785, so a bit heavy on that. The overall, they tell us that this ought to be inch and a sixteenth. My caliper is 1.065, so yeah, spot on with that pretty much. Uh, sorry, inch and a sixteenth. All right, let's switch to the screen view and take a closer look at that supporting documentation. Okay, so this here indeed is the unit that we are looking at, PD-526, Yale Fixed Core Padlock. A little schematic, and that's coming out of the manufacturer's catalog. They do give us the uh, three-quarter inch width and then the R dimension. They didn't give us the S dimension, but we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, the 
inch and 15 sixteenths width of the body, I can tell you with my tape measure on it that that does appear to be accurate. 15 sixteenths wide, yes, that would be accurate as well. So I just checked this dimension and this dimension here. It all looks right on. Now there is a couple of links below this video. The first is to the first one we've pulled up is to the keyways. This is in the TA keyway. And this page out of the Yale uh, cylinder, out of the full product catalog from the cylinders and keying manual section shows us typical keyways from Yale. Now this is all, these keyways are only the ones that are currently available and uh, not restricted or patented or otherwise kept confidential. This is the TA keyway here. Okay, Restricted keyways are not shown for security reasons. What will be considered as standard would be these dashed lines. So if you were going to, I should say th these dashed lines would be considered cylinders. So they're, what they're showing us here is this is what's called a multiplex structure and the TA participates as a multiplex system. The term simplex has its own dictionary definition but in the realm of keyways that means that the keyway itself, the actual broaching of the cylinder, sorry, is unique and only a milled key to that keyway will enter that cylinder. These are other simplex keyways. Now, there would be several and many reasons why you would want a keyway that would be passable by a blank that is not milled exclusively to that cylinder's keyway broaching in the cylinder. So, the TA is what we're dealing with here. There's a TH. These dashed lines means these are cylinders. Sitting above this is what would be a key blank. So you could order a key blank, the TAH, and that's that key blank will enter this or this profile, that broaching in the cylinder. That means it's part of a multiplex system. This is called a multi-section. These are called multi-section blanks. The TMK is the all-section blank. That blank could enter any of those eight cylinders. There are, there are reasons within the locksmithing realm why you must have a keyway that participates in a multiplex structure. I won't get into that here and now, but feel free to reach out and we'll be happy to discuss it. They have the T, the S, and the G series of multiplex. And then you might want a system that is simple. You might want to have a simplex keyway as well for the reason, for, for a reason that a multi or, or a multi or all section blank would not pass that. Okay. Another cut sheet that is listed down below is the cut sheet of our padlock, the PD500 series. So what we're dealing with here is the PD-526. It's going to have a Molly Bednam alloy steel high strength shackle, rust resistant with a chrome finish. You can also get those padlock shackles in a brass as well. Corrosion resistance is why you might choose that. You're going to have something that's going to sit outside long term. Now we're dealing with the C dimension. We've not clarified that just yet and the S dimension. So our PD-526, our C dimension is 2 and 5 sixteenths, and let's confirm that. Uh, yeah, closer to 2 and 3 eighths. Then the S dimension, if you recall, it was about 3 eighths. I think it was 0.385 and not 0.3875, so, you know, it's 3 eighths is the S dimension. The point of this table is it will show you all of the different sizes of the padlocks. So your shackle diameter, your body length. What's going to change, of course, is the height, your R dimension. And then, of course, your H dimension. They're all going to be three-quarter, but now you've got to decide what your R dimension is. The height from the top here down to the body itself. This client obviously needed an R dimension of one and a sixteenth. Solid brass body. Two hardened steel balls at heel and toe of the shackle. 
that is easily reviewed. There will be in the shackle a preparation for those steel balls to reside in, preventing the shackle from being pulled apart, uh, pulled out of the body. There are chains that are available. We'll talk about that in a second. Two nickel silver change keys supplied with each padlock. Control key quantity must be specified for interchangeable core. So let's go back to our PD-526. That's a fixed core. You can also order these small format interchangeable core or large format interchangeable core. A fixed core would be considered a conventional core. You need to disassemble the cylinder to remove that core so that you can go about servicing the cylinder. You can also order these for small format. That would be BEST and all of the clones of BEST, such as Falcon and Arrow and countless others. You can also run the Yale large format uh, cylinder platform through the padlock as well. So our LFIC would be a PD-534 and that same inch and a sixteenth, a PD-525 for small format, and then our PD-526 for fixed core, all the same size. So you can certainly handle different keying platforms or key system platforms within these Yale padlocks, either Yale large format, small format best, or just fixed core, and those would be, of course, Yale keyways. I can't tell you if there are other cylinders. I would think that Yale may manufacture cylinders in competitor keyways as a fixed core. You could probably get um, Schlage C. Not, you know, not that, that's really what you necessarily want, but you might be able to. I'd have to research that, look in the catalog. Now these chains, they're in our, there's a third link below this video to the product brochure, and we can scroll down to where those chains are, and here they are, padlock chains. Very typical and common. You'll get that chain connected to the body, and then you'll be able to hang that somewhere so that it is, so the padlock stays in place. You can't unintentionally or intentionally walk off with the padlock, okay? Now, there is, below this video, a link here to the manufacturer's page where you can review not only all of the Yale products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog and several other encyclopedic documents that are here. Keymark service manual, how to identify Yale closers, a, a, an article on the Yale bicentric cylinder. If you wanted to take a trip to about 1870 or so, you can look up the Yale bicentric cylinder. Cylinders and keying manual. But that product catalog that's here, we'll always have the most current one here. But if you want to see what Yale was making 180, 100, 120, 140 years ago, there are some really old catalogs here. Neat if you want to do a trip back in time or neat if you're trying to identify a lock that would be from the 1920s. These catalogs, and we endeavor to have them, are really helpful just for historical research alone. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, a very nice padlock. Yale padlocks are used in countless places. Um, you know, the, the military. Uh, uses them all the time. Um, installed uh, deployments of padlocks can be found on perimeter gates, things of that nature. You know, it's a brass padlock that Yale has been manufacturing for decades. These part numbers are going to be out there. The Yale padlock will be out there. Very typical and common item. So you'll very, very often have requests for these um, and orders for these. Okay, and obviously you can order it in the typical keyways that we talked about earlier, but you can certainly order these padlocks in their restricted and high security uh, platforms as well. They'll have restri restricted keyways and they'll have um, high security uh, platforms. One of their high security uh, systems involve four discs that will rotate in the side of the cylinder. And you'll have a side bit, you'll have a milling in the side of the key that if the cut the milling on the side of the key is to the proper depth, and I think there are four depths. One depth is no cut, the other is, you know, short, medium, and long, or deep, short, medium, and deep cuts. And when those discs are allowed to reside in the proper scenario, there is a gate that is cut in the side of those discs, and then there is a locking bar. Don't quote me, it's all in the manual, in the product catalog. But when those 
rotating discs are in the proper alignment for the, the based on the key that's been inserted inserted once that shear line is satisfied you'd be able to turn the cylinder because that locking bar will enter the fence if that's the fence then the locking bar of the fence will enter the gates allowing the cylinder to turn lots of uh, stuff there's a procedure of course to go through if you're going to order any of this in high security or restricted key blanks or keyways but it can all be accommodated any questions on the yale pd526 padlock or any other yale product please feel free to reach out to us and thank you